Welcome to sunny Bondi where the skies are blue, the surf is perfect, the wind is at zero, and everyone's hair looks wonderful. <laughs> if that's not the case for you, consider some of these awesome restaurants for what's good in the hood, Bondi Beach. Ah, mwah. Heading into Promenade. We're at the Bondi Promenade, which is a really new venue. On a very sunny day, I can imagine all of these doors being open and you would have the sea breeze just blowing straight through while you're eating this stunning tartare, which is a mix of beautiful beef, but then also you have pickled capers in mirin, uh, pickled enoki mushrooms, chives, fermented chili, which they do in house here, a perfect little egg, some olive oil, salt, pepper, all hand chopped. I'm pretty excited for it, especially because it's coming with the, a few little roast potatoes and this enormous puffy bread. Fast hair all day, that's my opinion. We're doing What's Good in the Hood Bondi, and this is Toddy's. Now, if you haven't heard of Toddy's, you've been living under a substantial rock, Pub Talion is what this place is all about. Uh, so today we're going to have a Wagyu schnitzel, yep. which is really delicious, probably our biggest seller. Um, that's not a pasta. And then the other one we're going to have is a, a lamb pappardelle, which has been on since day one. So we've got a Marble Score 9 Wagyu. It's the rump and we just quickly cooked it. It's got a little caper, a little parmesan on top. And this is the signature lamb sauce that Bondo's done for five years. And it's probably the biggest hit in Toddy's other than the bread. We're about to head into Iceberg's dining room and bar. Crown jewel of Bondi Beach. One of the most beautiful fine dining restaurants in Sydney. If you've got visitors from out of town, you bring them here. The views alone, like there is nothing else like this in all of Sydney. It really is spectacular. What have you got there, love? So that is some West Home Wagyu rump cap. That that's, one's the bar steak. Yeah. That's a bavette that we do in the restaurant and that's yeah. the ribeye. Nice. All right, so we have a salt crust 500 gram ribeye. This has been a mainstay of the restaurant since day one. Always delicious, always has this beautiful sort of yummy crust on it. And then we have the bavette. Mustard greens, peas, amaro vinaigrette. Beautifully rare. Mm. So good, it's so delicious. We're about to go and head into the bar to experience the more casual part, which I'm also very excited to try. Do it like this. Yeah, so we opened it uh, 18 years ago, so I was 21 yep. when I first opened it, um, with mum, so family business. Uh, just kind of good, simple food. Mm. Um, it, it, just a really nice vibe. We want people to come use as their second lounge room. So these are the raspberry, almond and chocolate stuffed croissants. Whoa. So there's like a raspberry gel, chocolate croissant, uh, beautiful almond cream on top, toasted almonds on top, and then they're double baked. Do you want to get straight into making a brisket sambo? Barbecue rub, roll that bad boy in a heap of spices, slow cook it, 75, 80 degrees for about 12 hours. We then slice it and we grill it and then stack it on the perfect sandwich. House made sweet chili jam. From there we layer down cheese. And then our brisket's gonna go in the middle. So we'll come over here on the barbecue. We're gonna add in some pickled jalapeno to cut through that. And that's gonna go straight back on the grill to make sure it's nice and toasted. This sums up the cafe and Bondi in a nutshell to me. <laughs> it's kind of like, like naughty, unctuous cheese, toasted bread, 12 hour brisket, washed down with a green smoothie full of health. Yeah. <laughs> And you wouldn't think twice about combining them. No, 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 no. Straight trip when you were around at the half on the air, cause they ain't found out. No blink so thick, bad D so bougie, but you don't. I can't see a thing, I feel like an old horse. No, don't fix it, Mum. Ah, beautiful, serene, unwindy bondo. We're about to go and eat some tacos, I'm very excited about. At Takiza. 
I've got my margarita, a little spicy salt rim. I've got my birria taco, which is deliciously doused in beef fat uh, with Oaxaca cheese, marinated brisket, pickled onions, coriander. It's just the right type of gooey mess. We're about to head inside one of Bondi's oldest venues, massively popular with hospitality over the years. Bondi has, though, always attracted really good chefs. There's always been fantastic restaurants here. Uh, Bondi Trat has been here forever. There's like, there are mainstay restaurants. Oh, here you are, guys. Got caramelized onion, tomato sauce, cavalonero, three types of cheese, plus beautiful spicy lamb kofta all over the top, and a little yogurt. Yummo. Even on the worst days, it's still pretty beautiful. It's kind of like Bondi Beach has that pizza rule, doesn't it? It's like even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. We are outside Orazio, Orazio Delia's little Italian restaurant where the big focus here is pizza, but if you didn't know, they also do really, really delicious pasta, arrosticini. In Abruzzo, instead of giving the flowers to a lady, they just go with arrosticini. I would far prefer a beautiful bouquet of meat than flowers. All types of little snacks, you can even just go in and have a drink if you really want to. Lamb arrosticini, which is like a traditional Abruzzo snack of tiny, tiny little pieces of lamb uh, cooked over charcoal with salt and a little squeeze of lemons. Pretty cool. In my other hand, I have this really beautiful slow cooked Wagyu uh, neck ragu with fresh pasta sheets and at the very bottom is all this creamy ricotta. It's really light and fresh and silky and soft. So yum. <laughs> Chef Joel Bennett's. I think he's gonna be making us a couple of off-menu treats today, which I'm pretty excited to try, including a little smash patty melt. Pickles from Westmont, white onion, potato bun, delicious but locally made in Sydney as opposed to imported, so extra good and more nutritious. It's really good. All that laciness, that's what it's all about. We're about to head into the fish shop. Joel Bennett's usually cooks fish, but uh, hot news, that's not what we're gonna be eating today. Little sirloin smothered in salsa verde butter with a little bit of watercress for refreshment. It's about the best steak I've ever eaten in a fish shop. Iconic is not a word I like to use very often, but with Bondi Beach, it truly is one of the most special places in Sydney. Not just because of the beach either, but because of the community that people have made here. You know, from cafe owners to bartenders, to amazing restaurateurs, to the chefs that shape everything we eat. It really is a hell of a, a hell of a Sydney suburb, and that's what's been good in the Bondi hood. <laughs>